Jenny. We are here in uh, Taos, New Mexico, where the global office of the Earthship Biotexture is located. Earthships are off-grid, sustainable homes. We harvest all of our own water and electricity um, on the roof. The electricity comes in through solar panels or supplementary wind, and all the water comes in on the roof through precipitation. Earthships are built um, mostly out of recycled materials. We use tires uh, for the back wall to support the weight of the roof. The interior walls are made with cans and bottles. The cans and bottles allow us to use less building materials. Uh, the bottles are also aesthetically pleasing. They'll let in some light and heat. We cut the bottles in half and uh, tape them together and lay them in like bricks to create a honeycomb pattern. We recycle water four times here. The first use comes in through the roof. That's for our drinking and washing water. Uh, after that use, the water is considered gray water. Gray water is plumbed from the sinks and the bathtubs into the planter cells that are in the earthships. All uh, planter cells in earthships are watered with the gray water. The water from the gray water uh, plant cells is then pumped to the toilet, so we're flushing the toilet with twice recycled water. The black water goes outside, which is your toilet water, uh, through a traditional septic tank, which is to code, and then waters our landscapes. So we use the black water to uh, reclaim landscapes and create oases for plants and animals that wouldn't otherwise um, exist, especially out here in the desert. We also heat and cool off-grid, so we take advantage of uh, solar gain, which heats the thermal mass in the floor and the wall. And um, by way of physics, when the temperature drops inside the buildings, the heat escapes from that thermal mass and heats the, the space up again. Cooling, we take advantage of convection. We have uh, cooling tubes that extend through um, the berm and are earth-cooled and they'll push the hot air up out through the roof of the sky vents. Um, so we have uh, two different models. We have um, an interior greenhouse and an exterior greenhouse. The exterior greenhouse acts as a buffer zone in extreme climates. So if it's, the temperatures are really cold outside, um, that greenhouse is gonna buffer the, the temperature or if it's extremely hot outside. Um, we have the ability to grow uh, food all year round and ornamental plants. Um, so it's just a personal preference of um, what, what type of plants you're interested in growing in your Earthship. So uh, there's three Earthship communities located um, uh, around Taos, New Mexico. Here we're in the Greater World community, which is 327 acres. We have about 75 homes here. Um, Michael Reynolds, who's the founder of Earthship Biotexture, came out here in the 70s building houses out of cans. So we've come a long way from there. We also have a community um, at about 10,000 feet. It's called the Reach Community, located in the mountains out here. We have another community. Um, it's called the Star Community. There's about 15 homes in the Carson Development Area. We offer um, two different programs out here. We have an academy program, which is four weeks. It's $2,500, where you can come to Taos and learn sustainable development techniques and practices. We also offer an internship program that's three weeks. Um, with both programs, we offer on-site housing and inertia for an additional fee. People from all over the world come to attend the program. So we have earthships in all 50 U.S. states and in 26 countries. There's over 2,000 earthships now. We have a commando crew that can go anywhere and build earthships. So legislation granted us a two-acre sustainable development test site where we can do experimental buildings without having to meet uh, codes or permits just on the two-acre site. Uh, we're calling the project EVE, which is Earthship Village Ecologies. There is about 25 dwellings on the two-acre site, um, and the goal of the project is to house a community of 25 people with all their food, water, and electrical needs met without any infrastructure or support from the municipalities. Uh, right now, the project funding is coming out of pocket, so it's a little bit slow, and we're looking to get a sustainable uh, community development grant to finish the project. Uh, we offer a simple survival app. It's a downloadable app that you can download on Google or Android. It's $9.99 and it's all the plans and blueprints to build a simple survival home, which is um, our most basic structures. They cost about $30,000 or under to build and uh, they use a lot of basic uh, building materials like hoses for gray water plumbing, um, pumps, that are manual instead of electric and a lot of other um, simple systems like solar heated hot water boxes. We have vacation rentals here in the Earthship community that you can rent as you would a hotel. It's a really great experience to get in and get a feeling for what it's like to stay in an Earthship. You can contact uh, the Earthship through uh, reception, the visitor center, the academy. All that information is listed on the website at www.earthship.com.